Well, today I want to show everybody how I self-film my archery hunts from my climber. I only take two cameras. I take my camcorder and of course then I have a GoPro that I try to put on myself. This is all I have in my backpack, whether it's for two hours or an all day sit. And the way I pack this is, and what I use, this is a muddy camera arm. And I really suggest anybody that is gonna get into filming your own hunts, the only, I mean, you need to get a decent camera arm. And this one is not expensive and it's really nice and smooth and quiet. And you're gonna find that if you try to make your own, it's gonna be loud and clicking and snapping and creaking and making all kinds of noise. And that's gonna, sh that's gonna be on your footage. And when you hear nothing but all that snapping and cracking, you know, you're going to be really disappointed. Also, I like to have a real nice fluid head. This is a Manfrotto, but it's one of the cheaper ones. I don't even think this was a hundred, maybe 120 bucks. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but once again, you don't try to make your own or don't try to use something off of an old tripod. Just get online and buy these two items and you'll be good to go. So this thing here, believe it or not, will fit down in here. Less, just like so. My bow hanger, this is what I use for that. My safety harness I always have on before I even, as soon as I get out of the truck. So I never put that in there right now. That's way too big and takes up so much space. My calls, I always put those in the middle pocket here. Anything for my camera, accessories, they always go in the front, calls in the middle, and then if I have any clothes, they go in the back. The way I carry my camera, I always have an orange hat or this one just seems to work out all right. So I wrap it up in that, stick it in my bag. That way it's got a little bit of protection. This, my haul rope, that'll go up top. This is gonna be for the mount, for the arm. This piece here is pretty heavy. It won't fit inside. So what I do with this, I have this little bungee cord here on, on the bag. And I think it's supposed to go on here like this. I hook it, the weight down on the bag put it through like that and then it's on there so that goes on the outside of the bag like that everything else is inside I use a Summit Viper stand and it seems to be the best stand I've ever been in when it comes to a climber um, it's great for sleeping so on the back of it all I do is take my backpack and I drape it right over and then this piece here on the stand I put right there I just take this strap here I take it down below this down below the shoulder straps and I put it right there that way it kind of holds it on there now the backpacks on here and you don't have to carry anything else except your bow so I'll go down here in the woods we'll find a tree and I'll set it up real quick and just show you how I set my stuff up, set my stand up from start to finish. Figure before I go ahead and climb up that tree, I'll check this trail camera if there's anything on here. Interesting, I'll be sure to show you. So the very first thing I do is put my bow hanger in because I get the bow up before I do anything. I get this, I get an arrow knocked and it's up in the tree. And where I put this is right here. I don't put it down here or way up high. I bring it about as close as I can to the tree stand right here. Throw that on, and you can level it up and everything with this camera. Snap it in, and I'm good to go. The nice thing about this camera, this is a, a Sony HDR PJ260V, I think. Yeah, and the nice thing about it is it has manual focus. I always turn the manual focus on. That way, you're not getting brush and limbs and everything else instead of the deer that are behind it now usually i'll throw my gopro on 
if I have a limb hanging nearby, usually that's how high I go. Most of the time you gotta stop because there's a limb. So I'll go ahead and throw that on a limb like so and put it pointing towards me. And I can also put it up here, but usually it's, I don't like anything in the way up here and I hang my calls up here. But I can put it up here, hang it upside down. And you know, you can flip the image on your GoPro or you can just do it when you edit your footage. The way I hang this, I don't like it up here because it's always in my way. I usually just pull this strap up, this ratchet out a little bit, and I put this right on here, and then I lock it back in. It's where I can go ahead and film sitting down. When it does come time to stand up, I can stand up, I have my bow in this hand, and that's at the perfect height. Now the other thing is that with your with most GoPros nowadays, you they have the Wi-Fi, and if you have the Wi-Fi, you can connect this to your cell phone. So I can keep that up there, and I can shut it off because you know how the batteries don't last that long on those. You can download the GoPro app on your phone. So right there it is. That's pretty cool that they, that you have that because. That way you know that you're getting a good shot. And the other thing is you can set this on your lap and I can just go ahead and hit the record button. And right there, now it's recording. So, and you can change all kinds of settings from this. You can turn it on and off, that's the biggest thing. And then you can go ahead and go in your settings and you can do everything you can on your GoPro you can do on your phone. But that's pretty much what I do. That's exactly what I do. I've never used, tried to DSLR, but I don't have a lens. I just have wide angle lenses so I can talk like this and not, and you can still hear me. Um, I'd like to someday try that, but right now my camcorder is so small and so light and it takes, it does the 1080p um, 60 frames a second. It doesn't make a lot of hiss like these DSLRs do. And it works, the other thing is the lighting. It works, it works really well in low light. This thing here is pretty much maxed out. It's dark down here in the woods, but you saw how bright it was on the camcorder versus this. I mean, I got the, I got it, the ISO almost cranked the whole way up and the frame rate down as low as it can go. If you guys are thinking about getting into filming your own hunts, this is the route that I would take if you're really serious about it. It's easy to put together. I throw it in my backpack, throw the backpack on the climber, throw the climber on my back, and I'm good to go. It's so important that you get a decent camera arm and a decent fluid head because it's going to make or break your your film your your video the gopro on you is not a big deal most people don't care what you look like when you shoot the deer i do have i only have one video up of me shooting from this if you go through my videos a couple years ago i shot a deer it was actually the first day i had my new camera arm i got so mad i went on amazon and got a camera arm, ordered it, did like the next day shipping and everything because it was right in the middle of archery season and it was just driving me crazy. And it was the very first day using my camera arm. Uh, I was up my climber, I love this climber. And within like an hour and a half, this buck came down and the footage is nice, it's smooth, it's quiet and it's the way to go. I mean, you don't have to get muddy. I don't work for muddy or anything like that but I love their camera arms one other thing I do with this camera it's nice is as soon as you flip it open obviously like most camcorders it turns on well when you have your gloves on it's kind of hard to peel that open so with this there's a door that covers up the external microphone jack so I open this up right here and I close this like so and it rests right on there like that but it's but it closes it it closes it just enough to where it thinks it's closed and it shuts off the camera so all I have to do with my thumb, if I have real big gloves on, even with my archery gloves, it's still hard to open this up. I can just go ahead and it's on. All right, here's the camera arm right here that I use. It's 112 bucks on Amazon. And here's the fluid head I have, right? 
you guys can see that, but it's the Manfrotto 128RC microfluid head with a 200PL 14RC2 rapid connector plate, which is nice. You'll have quality footage, it's going to be smooth, it's going to be quiet, it's going to be sturdy, and it's going to be level. If you're going to go out and film your hunts, go out and buy those right now. Use whatever camcorder you have. If you have a cheap camcorder, expensive camcorder, it doesn't matter. Um, just make sure that you're not trying to make your own camera arm like I did. If you have a GoPro, that's great. Hang it in a tree, download the app, turn on the Wi-Fi, use your phone, then you don't have to reach for it. Once it's set, you're good to go. So you got the GoPro on you, you have the quality camera arm with your fluid head, and you're getting good footage of the deer moving, or the turkeys moving, or the squirrels, and you got the camera up here for you. You can turn it on on your phone while you're playing on your phone, and you see a deer, turn it on the GoPro app, stick the phone in your pocket, get up, shoot the deer, you're good to go. And hopefully this was helpful. I know, it's, uh, I know it's the middle of July. Most of you guys are not thinking about hunting right now, but if you're thinking about self-filming your hunt, it's never too early to buy the equipment and go out in your backyard or wherever you hunt, set it up, tear it down, set it up, tear it down, five, six, seven, ten times. That way, when you're out in the woods, you're not spending a half hour, literally a half hour, because once you're up in the tree, things are different. You can pull everything out of your bag, stick it on, you're good to go, and you know it's going to be right. So... Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.